here are some more problems that have to do with probability. In this case, it's about what the possible outcomes are. In the first one, it says for a game, Maria needs to spin the spinner once, and here's the spinner. And the question is, how many possible outcomes are there? Well, in this case, we're just going to count. She could, it could land on a 1, it could land on a 2, or it could land on a 3. So there are three possible outcomes. There's only three things that could happen. So the answer to that one's pretty simple. That's just three. This next one's a little more complicated. It says that a 12-sided die is rolled. It has one brown side, one yellow side, nine green sides, and one pink side. And they want us to identify the number of outcomes possible and the most likely outcomes. So what you might be tempted to do here is to say that because this is a 12-sided die, there are 12 possible outcomes. But there are only a certain number of colors on here, and it's really the color that's the outcome. So there's one brown, one yellow, nine green, and one pink side. So when you think about it, you can really only get brown, yellow, green, or pink. So those are four outcomes. And that's all that's really possible. It's sort of like if you took a regular six-sided die and you put only ones and twos on it and no threes, fours, fives, and sixes, then there would only be two possible outcomes. You could either get a one or a two. Now the second half of this question is, what's the most likely outcome? Well, it, I, hopefully it's, it's obvious to you that the most likely outcome is going to be the color that's most on most sides. Brown side is just one yellow side is just one, the green side is nine, and the pink side is just one. So definitely green is the most likely outcome. The odds of getting green are nine out of twelve, which is three out of four. And the odds of getting the brown, the pink, or the yellow are just one out of twelve uh, for each of them. So this is definitely a much more likely outcome. Let's look at another one. Okay. In this problem, it says the box contains five counters. So there are little chips or disks or something in here, five of them, and they have different colors or patterns on them. There's two white ones, a black one, one with a plus on it, and a polka dot one. It says they are the same size and shape, but have different patterns. Which is a possible outcome if three counters are selected from the box at one time? So you put your hand in there and you pull out three of those. What could you possibly get here? Let me try to show the whole thing at once. There we go. So the question is, could you get this? Could you pick out one with a plus, one with a polka dot, one with a black? And if you grabbed these three here, you could. That's possible. Let's look at B. Could you get three polka dots? Hopefully, your common sense tells you, no, you couldn't. If you grab three of these, you can't get three polka dots because only one of them has a polka dot on it. So you'd have a polka dot and a couple of the other ones. So that's out. Uh, C, two black ones and a, and a plus sign. Well, there's only one black one in there, so there's no way if you grab three at once you could get two black ones. And D, two plus signs. Again, there's only one plus sign in there, so there's no way you can get two plus signs at one time. So clearly A is the only possible outcome that you could get here. So those are some problems about possible outcomes.